This right here is perhaps the best lens and focal length available for portrait photography today. Today we're chatting about a great tool to help you dive into the captivating world of portraits. And you know what we've got here is the magical 135 millimeter lens. It's a gem that's stolen the hearts of many photographers, myself included, helping to turn ordinary portraits into extraordinary masterpieces. So get ready to uncover the secrets behind this fantastic focal length, learn some pro tips, and of course discover why it's a total game game changer for stunning portraits. Here's a quick look at the different effects you can get from using different focal lengths. As you'll see, there's a big difference in the overall look, distortion, compression, you name it. But certain tools are definitely better for certain jobs. Now let me tell you about why the 135 millimeter lens is an absolute favorite of portrait photographers. First off, the longer focal length of 135 millimeters gives us a flattering perspective. It minimizes distortion and elongates facial features. Who wouldn't want to look their best in a portrait, right? Well, this thing is gonna do just that. Another beautiful aspect of this lens is its natural background separation. With this beauty, we can achieve a shallow depth of field, making our subject pop against a beautiful blurred background. It's pure magic. If you're coming from other lenses, this thing will probably just blow you away in terms of portraits. You know what's awesome? The comfortable shooting distance. The 135 lets us stay at a perfect working distance from our subjects. It makes them feel at ease and capturing those natural, genuine expressions. Well, that connection is really hard to beat and those often give us the best photos. And let me tell you, intimate portraits are a breeze with this lens. No intruding into somebody's personal space, especially if they're not comfortable around a camera. And it's fantastic for candid moments and capturing the essence of people who, again, might feel a bit camera shy. Next, let's talk about headshots, an important aspect to a lot of photographers, and this thing nails headshots. This focal length frames faces perfectly while keeping that authentic expression intact. Ask just about anybody that's had their photo taken with this lens, I'm sure they love the results. But there's more to this lens than just headshots. A 135 millimeter lens is not just for portraits, but it's also gonna be great for wildlife, for sports, events. It's versatile like that, you name it, and this thing delivers with stunning results. 135s are famous for their image quality. These lenses are known for their sharpness, their contrast, and their colors. And when it comes to portraits, in my opinion, they just really stand out. These lenses traditionally also have distortion very well controlled. Unlike wider lenses, our subjects will look more natural with their facial features spot on. And as far as the bokeh is concerned, it's just incredible. Fast apertures and longer focal lengths are like magic. It's like the icing on the cake, some of the most beautiful out of focus backgrounds that you've ever seen. Last but not least, the 135 gives our portraits a professional, polished look. No wonder the pros love them. All of these reasons probably make this my favorite focal length for shooting people. Whether it's weddings, family photos, or headshots, this thing really hasn't let me down yet. It's got a lot of great balanced aspects to it, making it one of my favorite focal lengths to date. It hasn't let me down yet, and I bet you won't let you down either. Now remember, photography is an art and different lenses offer different creative effects. So while the 135 is a star, you might also want to explore something like an 85 or even a 200 for some variety in your portraits. So go ahead, my friends, experiment and find what suits your style best. But if you are looking for an amazing portrait focal length, well, I would definitely consider checking something like this out. I hope you liked this video, guys. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, join the community, make sure you drop all your questions and your comments down below. I will drop all my gear links down in the description for you. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.